Welcome back to the Roma Smile swatching series. This is episode two and we are going to be swatching the second lot of colors which are the warm reds to the cool reds. In this video we are swatching permanent orange P059 Brilliant Orange, P067 Cadmium Orange, P020 Benzimidazone Orange, P036 Pyro Orange P O seventy three. Scarlet Lake PR188 Anthraquinone Scarlet PR168 Pyrol Scarlet PR255 Cadmium Vermilion PR108 Scarlet Red PR166 
Naphthol Red PR112 Pyro Red PR254 Azo Red PR144 Permanent Red PR170 Aquarius Red PR214 Cadmium Red PR108 Cadmium Red Deep PR108 Perilyn Maroon PR179 Anthraquinone Red PR177 And finally 
pyrorubin, which is made of PR264. Welcome back, the paints have dried. My first impression is just how rich and beautiful these colors are and how evenly, as I mentioned in my previous video, how evenly these colors dry. And one thing before I go on, you might notice in some of these colors that they are white dots on the surface of the colors. I'll show you in close. You see how in the scarlet red there's some white dots. Now, I want to tell you that that is not the fault of the Roman Small. It's not the watercolor that's causing this issue. It's actually the paper. I'm using Archie's Core Press and I'm going to link a video up here to when I first noticed this problem and I talked about it and there's a whole section of comments where you guys have said I've had this experience with the arch paper as well with other brands. This seems to be a very common problem with arch paper and lots of other brands. I've personally experienced it with the Mission Golds one and the Hold by Watercolors as well. And other people in that video commented that they have experienced it with other brands as well. So it is not the fault of the watercolor. It is the fault of the paper. And I'm going to go on a side note, but I am kind of very annoyed by this because arch paper are very, very expensive expensive and for them to have this sizing issue which is what a lot of people feel is the issue is not acceptable to me so I'm not going to be buying any more arch paper however let's get on with looking at these colors I just wanted you guys to know that this is not the fault of the watercolor but the fault of the paper when i do another series where i test the opacity and the left and things of these colors i will be sure to swatch these colors on a much better paper taking a closer look at the first page and we have permanent orange which is closer to the other oranges that we saw in the previous episode then we have the brilliant orange the cadmium orange and the benzimidazole orange the three are very similar in hue so you could take your pick as from these three as to which color you would like. If you want a more opaque one, you go for the cadmium. If you want to go for the bright ones, then you go for either the brilliant orange or the benzimidazole orange. This is the most intense one out of the three. Then we have Pyro Orange, Scarlet Lake, Anthraquinone Scarlet and Pyro Scarlet. I would say that these three are again very similar in hue and you probably only need one of these colors. If you want the brightest one I'd say go for the Pyro Scarlet. The Mastone is definitely a standout compared to the other three. Although I do have a weakness for this Pyro Orange. It is a little bit more muted but I think it might be a bit more practical if you paint more nature kind of things rather than illustrations. Then we have the Cadmium Vermilion, Scarlet Red, Naphthor Red and Pyro Red. Again, these four are similar in hue, however, the Scarlet Red does seem a little bit more muted, especially next to the Naphthor Red, which are incredibly, incredibly bright. This is the brightest red out of, I think, the whole both pages that you will see in this video followed by the cadmium vermilion so if you are looking for a nice clear very bright red go for naphthol if you're looking for something a little bit more opaque go for cadmium however if you are looking for something a little bit more muted and easier to handle especially if you paint a lot of nature then scarlet red might be the better option for you on to the second page we have azo red which is a very dark deep red permanent red aquarius red and cadmium red. The Azo red I think is a color on its own compared to all the other reds in this range. It is a much more deeper muted color. However, even though these colors look pretty similar, when you look at the color that's watered down, cadmium red is a very, very different color to the other three. Watered down, the Azo, the permanent and Aquarius reds look 
pretty similar watered down. However, the cadmium red and the cadmium red deep and the perineum maroon, they're a lot more muted than all the other reds. So if you are looking for that little bit more muted classical colors, then def definitely, definitely go for the cadmium red, cadmium red deep or the perineum maroon. But I don't think you need all three. They are very similar once they've been watered down. So just pick one of your favorites. Then finally, we have the antiquanone red and the pyrorubin. These are the more bluish reds. And I do always have a soft spot for any brand that has the color pyrorubin. Holbein has one as well, because I love, love, love the color pyrorubin. One thing you might notice with these colors is that even though the paper had this sizing issue, I've discovered that if you put more liquidy color down on paper it does prevent those white dots coming through so if you are stuck with some ash paper like i am and you do want to use the paper up because they are expensive then i recommend just upping the amount of fluid basically water plus paint you have on your brush and therefore how much you put down on paper just increase it a little bit more and hopefully you will not have that white dotted issue now roman small is i think ideal for people who are stuck like me with lots of arch paper that have this issue because it doesn't matter how much water you put down it doesn't dry unevenly it dries very very flat and evenly which is ideal when you are having to use a little bit more water than you are used to and are comfortable with. While we're here, I just want to also point out that, that the Aquarius Red is a, another color that is almost unique to Roman Small. They do say that Old Holland has a color using this pigment of PR214, but this Roman Small is the only other brand where you can get this pigment from. So that is the red oranges to the red colors that are in the Roman small range. My impression is that they have some very, very bright reds. So if you are a fan of reds and you want to get a very particular color that are very bright, then definitely go for it. I love the naphthol red. It's exactly what I was expecting naphthol red to be. Of some brands, they're not. That is another great thing about Roman small that I am finding is that the colors, there's never an unexpected color colors they come out exactly how you expect a color to come out of a any particular name so napsol red is the perfect metal red pyrorubin is the slightly more muted slightly more bluish red all the colors are exactly what you expect from the name of its color so what do you think of these colors which one is your favorite do let me know in the comments down below which one you fancy buying and as always i will leave a link down below to all of the colors and where you can get them i will also upload a high res scan of these and every other test sheet in this series over on my patreon that's patreon.com forward slash ottocano massive thank you to Roma small for sending me these paints they are gorgeous and for very patiently answering all my questions i also want to apologize for the lighting it is incredibly changeable weather at the moment and i've been putting off filming for three weeks now and i just got to get these filmed so please bear with me on how the brightness changes in this video Thank you so much for watching this video. Next video, we are going to be covering these beautiful colors, so don't miss out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.